Kia ora. so this is our fourth video. We are looking today at the analysis of the graph, the general analysis and the centre, um, for the 1.10 multivariate investigation for NCA Level 1. So just a reminder that you need to make sure that you follow the instructions of your teacher. Um, this is how we do it at our school, but doesn't necessarily have to relate to what you do at your school, and you need to make sure that you do as you are expected to do. I hope this is helpful though and that you can use it as part of your investigation to help you to complete it. So first of all we need to um, understand that we have been given a sample and our sample is a small group from a wider population and that wider population we are trying to make opinions about and make comments about. So to start off with we have to look at what's happening in our sample and whether this can be applied to the population or not. So that's how the investigation is made up. In our analysis section we're going to have four different parts. They are the centre, the spread, the shape and the interesting and we call that CSSI. And we follow OSIM obvious specific evidence meaning in our statements so that we cover all the parts that are made up <coughs> through to get achieved through to excellence. So obvious and specific are talking about the graph and evidence is talking about why the graph says what it says and the meaning is do you understand what we're actually doing in this particular statistical investigation. So there's a video here on OSIM if you want to copy that down and put it in and have a watch of it later. So first of all we're going to look at the centre. So the median is represented on our graph by a line in the middle of the box. It's not necessarily in the middle, it's in the box somewhere. It can be right to the left hand side or right to the right hand side. This tells us where the middle of the data is, and that means there is 50% of the data on either side of this particular line. So we want to look at which group is higher than the other group, which group has therefore the greater median, what are those medians and what's the difference between the medians, what does this mean for our sample. So put it in context and match it up with your hypothesis. In this part we're also going to talk about the middle 50%, which is the box. So which box looks like it's further up the scale than the other or further down? Do the boxes overlap each other? What are the values in each for each box? What does this mean for our data set? Is there anything we need to talk about? Sometimes there's nothing to really talk about in that aspect. So looking at my example of rugby players, I've got the backs versus the forwards. So my first statement is going to be about the medians. That's this line here in the boxes. All right, so I'm talking first of all about what I can see on the graph. So this one here is to the right of this one here. So forwards, median is to the right of the backs on the graph. And I'm going to talk about the fact that they are written here. Median is 1.82, median is 1.895. So I can put that in and actually talk about the difference between these and what it means to me. So from the graph, I can see that the middle of the, 50, the forward box is to the right of the backs. This means that the median height of the forwards in my sample is greater than the median height of the backs. This is backed up by the median height of the forwards being 1.895 metres and the median height of the backs being 1.82 metres. So if I subtract these, I can figure out that the difference is 0.075. So the backs median is 0.075 metres larger than the forwards. All right, so that's the middle value in this set of data. This means that in general, forward rugby players would be taller than backs. So for 50% of the players, the, this is taller than this part here. All right, I think this would be true because it's type five that includes the locks and the Lucy's are usually the tallest players in the team. In our middle 50% 50, middle 50%, so that's the length of this box here and what's happening there. So where are these boxes positioned on our graph is what we're really interested in. So I could say here from the graph I can see that the middle 50% box of the forwards is to the right of the middle 50% box of the backs. This means the middle 50% of the forwards in my sample are nearly all taller, nearly all, because there's some down the bottom here who are shorter 
than some of these ones. All right, so nearly all taller than the middle 50% of the backs. We can see this clearly on the graph as the left-hand edge of the forwards, so this one here, is just further down than the right-hand edge on the backs. That's the lower quartile of the forwards, 1.84, is just lower than the upper quartile, 1.85, of the backs. All right, so that's a comment about the middle 50%. So it's your turn to have a wee look and try and do that one that we've been looking at as your turn. So looking at the marathon data, can you write those centre comments for this data set? Thanks for listening.